Vietnam will test the entire population of Ho Chi Minh City for COVID-19 as fears grow that a new hybrid variant is spreading. And for a closer look, Professor Tiki Pang from the National University of Singapore joins us. Professor, uh, firstly, how much do we understand about this new hybrid variant discovered in Vietnam? I think uh, people are saying that it's a hybrid because it seems to have a um, mutation, a deletion mutation on the spike protein, which has been seen both in the UK as well as the uh, Indian uh, B16172 uh, variant. I think uh, a lot of uh, analysis is still going on, but that's my understanding so far. Professor Pang, the analysis is still ongoing, but is there a possibility that it could be the source of the country's latest surge in infections, and how would that be determined? Yes, of course. Um, the idea at the moment is that this is a highly uh, transmissible uh, strain, uh, but the actual evidence that this is responsible for the surge that is still requiring a lot more further research. I think the idea that it's more highly transmissible comes from laboratory studies, that the virus replicates much more rapidly in cell cultures in a laboratory. Whether that's true in the real life situation, I think it requires a lot more uh, research and analysis for now. And Professor, Vietnam managed to crush earlier waves of the COVID-19 virus. How has this sort of managed to get away from it? And what will it need to sort of replicate its previous success? Yes, I think um, obviously there is the possibility that this search is because the new strain is highly transmissible. But you must also consider that there could be other factors. It occurred in an industrial uh, zone where people are very sort of closely uh, crammed together. Uh, they probably live uh, together. They probably share the same transport, the same uh, canteen, et cetera, et cetera. So there is probably also the possibility that after their great success in the past, there could have been maybe some complacency uh, setting in uh, that uh, allowed this uh, uh, to actually uh, happen. And of course, the other big issue is that Vietnam has a very low uh, uh, coverage of vaccinations. Only 0.03% of their population is fully vaccinated and less than 1% uh, are partly uh, uh, vaccinated. So there could be a, a number of different factors in addition to the possibility of a more uh, transmissible strain. And vaccination all over the world, uh, Professor Pang, is a, is a critical piece of the puzzle in dealing with COVID-19. So what must Vietnam do then to pick up the pace of their vaccination drive? Well, obviously, that's a big challenge for them because I think uh, with vaccination in many developing countries, the main issue is getting enough supply. Uh, and uh, that is a reality that there is a huge inequality in access to vaccines all over the world. Uh, it's mostly the richer countries that have been able to afford uh, uh, the vaccines. So countries like Vietnam are going to, to struggle to get enough vaccines to uh, try to, to immunize uh, the entire population. Uh, and uh, in addition to, to logistic issues, in addition to issues around uh, vaccine uh, hesitancy. Uh, but I think the main challenge is really inadequate supply. Professor Pang, thank you very much uh, for your time this evening. Professor Tiki Pang there from the National University of Singapore.